Aquarius, welcome to your reading for this week starting the 13th of October. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle cards. So starting off with your overall energy, we've got the seven of wands. This asks you to be assertive. This card asks you to step up and speak up and it's absolutely a okay to do that provided you are kind with it so here on the card look she's so close to success but she's got to get past these grumpy sheep and she's going to have to be assertive to do that but kind at the same time so it's absolutely okay to say no thank you that's a full sentence it's absolutely okay to say this will work better for me this isn't working i suggest we try this all of these are lovely ways of being assertive and kind. Your help or your hurdle, the Knight of Coins comes in. Now, it's fast moving energy, but the Knight of Coins is the slowest of the knights because on the card here, look, she's got off the motorbike and she's looking at the map. So this is the card of planning. Plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. And this is all good because when she gets back on that motorbike, she knows exactly where she's going and how to get there. What do you need to focus on? The Queen of Wands. Now, right after this card, we've got the Queen of Pencils. So two Queen cards. They are both authority figures in the deck. Starting with the Queen of Wands, she absolutely personifies confidence, self-belief, success. Her motto in life is, yes, I can. You just watch me. And she does. She can manifest anything that she needs just like that because she's had to learn how to. And all of that experience, she's happy to share with other people. So you needing to be focusing on confidence, self-belief, self-support and a yes I can attitude. How can you help yourself? The queen of pencils this time. Different energy again. Now this queen is logical, clear thinking, straight to the point. Very easily and without hesitation gets rid of anything that isn't serving her well or isn't working. It's very much an out with the old and in with the new energy. So she's very much a spring cleaning, clearing out, leaving behind what isn't working. And that doesn't worry her. She'll just do that simply by making a very logical decision. So help. how can you help yourself? Clear, well thought out decision making as to what what is working and what is not and leaving behind anything that isn't working pulling it all together here you are then moving forward part of a partnership it's positive partnerships working together and it's only when you work together that the success can be found so it's good decision making and you moving forward alongside somebody else and the justice card is here to finish off. This is lovely. This asks you to do what you know is the right thing to do. It's following your moral compass. Focusing on honesty, integrity and fairness. So let's get a little bit more information and then we'll pull it all together. The one of action. This is lovely next to this queen of pencils. The ace of wands in traditional tarot. Time to enjoy excellence exciting new opportunities. Take action and go for it. Here you are, out with the old and this is the in with the new. The 18 of wisdom, the moon card, says it's time to release anything that's holding you back. Self-sabotage, self-criticism, fear, guilt, self-doubt. It's time to leave those behind. Trust yourself, trust your intuition and get moving forward. The Eight of Wisdom, we've got a double message here, double justice card. So this is in capital letters, do what you know is the right thing to do. 
how can you help yourself? Look at all these major arcana cards coming out one after the other. This is the 12 card. This is the 12 of wisdom. It's the awakening card in traditional tarot. Be lovely individual you in a nutshell. It also asks you to find new perspectives and look at things in a positive new light. So just stepping back and looking at things from all angles. She's upside down on the card look. Everything looks completely different from her perspective. And another major arcana, the strength card, number 11. Pulling it all together, using kindness to get results. It says be confident and strong. This is just what the Queen of Wands energy is bringing in. And compassion will bring results. So being assertive, here we are again. This is showing up. This card is a lovely mixture of these two. So stepping up and speaking up, being assertive, but being kind at the same time. And that will get you a lot further, a lot faster. And your final outcome card, another two. We've got the two of wands. We've got the two of emotion, two of cups. Good relationships, positive outcome to discussions. It's very much talking things over listening and speaking and making sure you have a clear understanding of one another. So pulling it all together, double justice card, do what you know is the right thing to do. Step up and speak up, but do so kindly. It's a week to make plans, make detailed plans, leaving out anything that isn't working inviting in something new, having the confidence to do that, leaving behind anything that's holding you back or weighing you down, taking your time and looking at everything from everyone's perspective, talking it all through, and then time to take action and go for it. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So look after yourselves, have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.